37 machetes wielded by volunteers were used to harvest two acres of sugarcane on Saturday in San Jose Village in the north. Machetes for Peace is a brainchild of Alexander Perez, the director of the Belize Camping Experience. According to Perez, 29 tons per acre of sugarcane was harvested and delivered to the mill. We put uh, the sugarcane on fire and uh, that, scared the, that scared the guts out of me. Um, it, there was nine farmers that came to put uh, this field on fire and um, they are so professional that five feet beside there was a field that wasn't that couldn't be burned, and the fire didn't went across. And uh, I was I was amazed by it, but I was frightened by it because when the reason you put the sugarcane on fire is to burn all the leaves and all the trash and also the snakes, dangerous snakes that are there. You know, it, it makes it feel clean, 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 clean. So the following day we went and um, they had 12 farmers to came and arrange the field consecutively because everyone had to chop sugarcane at the same time, right? And uh, they, they made it on a way that uh, we had rows and then the sugarcane farmers line up uh, red tape so everyone will take a position so we can cut the sugarcane at the same time. And the time went through and by nine o'clock, we know people from all over Orange Rock, Coruscant, Champagne Ridge, York Creek, uh, the committee from Harvest for Kids from Blue Creek these guys who have never chopped cane like that, they came out and they brought their machetes. A uh, big, big shout to them because they, they were the ones who started with the rice. People from Corozal came. And they came at one goal, to help the children who benefit from the Belize camping experience, which was established 11 years ago. We do summer camps throughout the entirety of the summer. And last year, we did 12 camps and we managed to reach 1,045 children. But this year, we have planned 20 camps in total. And if we do the math, it's going to be almost 2,000 children that are going to be reached. Talk to us about what they do at, at the camp. What Sure, we do summer day camps and every camp looks different. Some of them are sports camps, so we teach them sports discipline. Other ones are fun camps and we teach them different things. We, we do songs with them, we do games with them, we teach them different object lessons. We, do, we let them do hands-on activities to learn a Bible lesson and to learn something good at the end of the day. The money's raised will be used to keep the camp going. Hippolyta Novello, News 5.